Hi, welcome to MedManus. This is Dr. Ram here. In this session, we are going to see about the spleen histology. So, the spleen is the largest lymphoid organ. It serves two important functions. One is it acts as a graveyard of RBCs, that is, it is going to destroy the old RBCs in the blood. Also, it is going to filter the blood from various antigens and microbes. And note that this is the only lymphoid organ where the blood comes in direct contact with the immune cells. If you take the lymphoid organs like lymph nodes, only the lymph comes in contact with the immune cells. Okay, so this is the spleen interior. You can appreciate the red areas here, which is the red pulp and the white ones are the white pulp. Now I'm going to take the white pulp. So this is the white pulp. You can appreciate the splenic artery and arterioles here. This is surrounded by a sheath of T cells. This is nothing but the periarterial lymphatic sheath, PALS. And you can appreciate a nodule here. This is lymphatic nodules. In the center of the nodule, you can appreciate the B cells. So remember, lymphatic nodules is predominantly B cells and PALS is predominantly T cells. Note that these B cells are in active state. If it becomes active, this area is called the germinal center. Okay, let's go to the red pulp. If you want to think about the red pulp, just two points. One is it consists of sinusoids, the other is the cords. First, let's talk about the sinusoids. This is the splenic sinusoids, which is nothing but the capillaries of the spleen. This is very special because it has long endothelial cells and large gaps in between. And in between sinusoids, you can appreciate a lot of blood cells here. You can appreciate macrophages, you can appreciate B and T cells here. And you can also appreciate the reticular cells, which are the yellow ones in my diagram here. These cells are arranged in the form of cords. This is the cords of Bildroth or the splenic cords. So red pulp consists of the sinusoids and the cords of Bildroth. Okay, here you can appreciate the PALS, periarterial lymphatic sheath that is around the splenic artery and the arterioles. And the major component of the spleen is red pulp. Okay, let's discuss about the splenic circulation. So blood from the splenic artery passes through the arterioles and from the arterioles passes through the penicillar arterioles. Note that penicillar arterioles are very narrow. These narrower arterioles are responsible for destroying the RBCs, I mean the old RBCs, because the old RBCs, the membrane is very fragile and it cannot pass through the narrower arterioles so it gets destroyed. Whereas the young RBCs, the membrane is very flexible and it can adapt itself into these arterioles and comes out successfully without any damage. And the blood from the penicillar arterioles is going through two pathways. One is through the sinusoids, which is the capillaries, and into the cords. And now, in the cords, you have a lot of macrophages. And the sinusoids, you have large gaps. The blood can move between the cords and sinusoids. And in the cords, you have a lot of macrophages. So, the destroyed RBCs are engulfed by the macrophages and digested. And blood from the cords move through the sinusoids and through the veins, splenic vein and so on. Okay, you want to understand two important terms. One is a closed circulation, the other is an open circulation. Blood from the penicillar arterioles passes through the sinusoids. This is closed circulation. And blood from the penicillar arterioles passing through the cords of Bildroth is open circulation because blood moves into the cords of Bildroth that is out of the blood vessels. So this is open circulation. And this is the histology slide of a spleen. You can notice the red pulp areas here. Remember the sinusoids and cords of Bildroth and the white pulp areas. Remember the PALS which is predominantly T cells and the lymphatic nodules which is predominantly B cells. Okay, we are in the end of a session. 
you can pause this video and you can revise this notes i'm going to post the same slide in instagram id given below i hope this session is useful for you see you then thank you see you with more interesting videos Thank <laughs> you.